hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl blessing so on today's video it's not just the regular video that i normally do so you can see i was about to make um fried fish so it's already been marinated i'm just going to be putting all the ingredients that i used to marinate this fish in the description so as you can see my air fryer is completely <laughs> out of it it's very very dirty so i just thought okay i'm just gonna share how i normally wash my um hair fryer with you guys so so i use one pot of my normal dishwasher so and i boil hot water so once the water is completely boiled i just put the um pot you can see and then i pour the hot water in the um air fryer basket and then um, leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes so just to soak it so as you can see i pour the hot water and then i'm just waiting so after it has cooled down a bit it's still very very hot so i can't dip my hand inside so i use this brush i'm just using it to scrub all the excess oil and then the good part of this washing um dishwasher is it will remove all the grease and then it will make it very very easy for you to wash and then it will also remove all the stickiness you can see how very very dirty it is in fact I'm, I'm even so embarrassed right now so you just i just keep scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing as you can see so i scrub i couldn't dip my hand this side it's literally very very hot like the water is still hot so i was just using that brush to you know just to scrub it so i just try to bring it out now it's still very hot so you can see how the steam is still coming out so i put it back inside so you can see i was just trying then then i wash the the bottom part so i just com continue to wash it wash the edges around so eventually the water um, you can see some other parts it's, it still needs to be scrubbed but at least it's re it has actually removed all the sticky parts like so i eventually still use normal dishwashing sponge to just you know remove all the remaining thinness around it so as you can see it's completely clean now and then i dry i rinse it and then i dry it up so it's completely clean now and it's ready to be used <laughs> i'm ready to fry my fish so i just try to spray you know just to, um, some oil on the basket just to prevent it from sticking i know it's actually a non-stick air fryer but i still then the oil itself the little oil itself will um, facilitate the frying as well i know it's actually air fryer but the oil itself will facilitate it, the frying as well as um preventing it from sticking so you can see then i just arrange it making sure that they are not too close to each other and giving enough room for it to fry so i set the time to 20 minutes initially it actually spent more than 20 minutes in the air fryer but i, I initially um, set it as 20 minutes so i came back to check on my fish and it's about halfway done i'm just trying to turn it now you know this is why this is why i actually spray some more you can see that it's a little bit sticky kind of like the some of the part of the fish is almost removing so um the tail is still kind of sticky so i just try to turn it you know turn it upside down turn the um, other side for it to fry as well i just turn all the fish around and then i put it back for another 15 minutes so the next 15 minutes um it's already done i don't want it to become uh, too crunchy because i'm actually putting it in this soup so you see the end product so this is actually the end product so so comment down below if you like or you've learned something and let me know what you like me to do in the next video